Hi, uh, I'm Amy Bensel. I make paintings that incorporate a mix of gestural, geometric, and process-driven abstraction. When I start a painting, I tape off different sections of the canvas and I work on each section independently. And some of the areas I experiment with color, shape, and texture. And in other areas, I'll react to those uncontrolled marks. Basically, I'm setting up a puzzle for myself, um, which I create something unknown and then figure out how to make sense out of it. I generally don't use brushes when I paint. Currently, I'm using custom-made tools that are similar to trials used to float concrete. Uh, the tools allow me to create smooth layers of acrylic polymer mixed with small amounts of pigment. Uh, when I'm working, I'll spread the paint mixture on the canvas like I'm icing a cake. And then I scrape off the paint with the trowel, which leaves the very thin layer behind and squeezes the paint out over the edges. And if you look at the canvas from the sides, you can actually see the excess paint from the different layers. And it's almost like looking at the ge geology of the painting. Um, my background is in advertising and my process is similar to four color printing in that I use single colors and alternating layers and intensities to create the final colors of a piece. Um, I keep adding layers of paint until I get the depth and color I'm looking for. I usually work on multiple pieces at the same time since I paint a layer and wait for that layer to dry before adding another one. Um, each layer can take one to three days to dry depending on how thick it is. So it's not a very quick process and it can take me a few months to actually finish a painting. Um, I don't work directly from any specific source material. Uh, certain colors, shapes, and ideas come from things that are happening in my everyday life or things I see online. Um, I might start with a general idea of what I want to happen in a painting, but I'm open to where the process takes me. Uh, I think painting is endlessly fascinating because you can surprise yourself with something you make. Um, even though it's my hand moving the paint around, things are happening on the canvas that I don't expect. Um, sometimes I'll look at something I've just painted and I'm not even sure how it came to be, only that I'm drawn to it. And that's when I know it's time to put down the tools and just step away from the canvas. <laughs> um, so in closing, I want to thank Harwood for continuing with Surface, even though we couldn't be there in person. Uh, it's been really great to connect with all of you virtually. So thanks.